Hey there guys, Matt Dawson here coming at you with a, another live and uh, we've had a few questions come in, one of them being around uh, the major scale. So I'm going to give you a massive, massive tip that's going to help you play any major scale. So the major scale is broken up into groups of eight notes. There are major scales that contain more. They go over what's called more than one octave. So an octave, just so that you know what I'm talking about, an octave is a group of eight notes. Think of the word oct, octagon, like in the MMA ring, uh, octopus, eight legs, uh, eight arms, or eight tentacles, or whatever the hell they've got, um, eight. Okay, that's what we're getting, eight notes, a grouping of eight notes. So your major scale in its simplest form is just eight notes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a shape that will basically give you every single major scale on the fretboard. Uh, yeah, this one shape, you can use anywhere on the fretboard, providing you're not in the open position and you will be able to play it. So. A major scale would sound like this. Grouping of eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the shape that I'm basically gonna show you how to play. Now you can play this everywhere. Yeah, you know, everywhere, all the way up the neck. As, as many as you, even up there, okay? It works everywhere. The only thing you won't be able to do is do the open notes. So as soon as you start getting to open notes, you'd have to change things up a little bit. But this will get you through every key and it will get you through um, all the kind of obstructions that the major scale may throw up. So first things first, we're gonna take our second finger and I'm gonna start at any point on my low E string, okay? So I'm gonna start, I start at fret five, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my second finger on fret five on the low E string. Then I'm gonna to go to fret seven, so I'm gonna miss a fret out, and I'm gonna to go to, um, with my fourth finger, I'm gonna play that note. So they're the first two notes. Then I'm gonna to go to the next string down, and I'm gonna play my first finger on the, this would be at fret four. So just to recap, I'm gonna go second finger, then fourth finger on the low E, then I'm gonna go first finger on the A string. Then I'm gonna go second finger on the fifth string. Uh, sorry, second finger on the fifth fret, and that's on the A string. So, so far I've got one, two, three, four. So over halfway, we're halfway now from our group of eight notes. Then I'm gonna go fourth finger at fret seven on the A string. Then I'm gonna to go to the next string down and I'm gonna go fret four on my first finger and that's uh, gonna be on the D string. Then I'm gonna go fret six on the D string with my third finger and then I'm gonna go fret seven on the D string with my fourth finger. So when you put that all together, you'll get this. And that's an A major scale. And you can use that anywhere on the fretboard. Now what you also wanna make sure that you're doing, just for good practice, is making sure that you're alternating your picking. So I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then same as I'm coming backwards, okay? Really, really important that you're doing that. 